What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerf here, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be trying to get that number one spot back. Uh, I got it for a little bit again, and then PQ overtook me. He's at 1877, I think. So, a win should bring us there. And the deck we're going to use today is this Mono Decay Control, uh, pretty normal Mono Decay deck right now. Um, I do think that Mono Energy range is the best deck in the ladder right now, but I want to show something different because that was in the last ranked match video. So this is um, based on a deck uh, that Blinky used. I made a few adjustments, and I've seen uh, deck, decks like this in the ladder a lot recently. I think PewQ is actually playing a deck like this in ranked. Halls of Ohm Loss is really good for its... Uh, you could compare Halls of Ohm Loss to Imperial Resources for Decay. It kinda just, you kind of waste your turn playing it, but then after every turn after that, you're just like... You're uh, getting a little bit of a push in the scrolls department and resources because you can just sacrifice those scrolls so that's pretty good and um people are liking curse presence a lot right now since it is just a good a good scroll outright just give a unit curse for us you can get that infectious blight going around and a lot of curse has been going around lately with uh bloodline taint and baleful witch even so we're gonna try this um and hopefully it works out so monitor decay control and again a link to that deck will be in the description below so i'll be back when i find a match all right guys so this match is sped up a lot because i tried to do two uh matches in this video and i didn't know the second match would take a really long time so um the video ended up being too long so i decided to speed up the first match like as fast as i could so i'll just commentate over it i actually found blinky in rank not who i wanted to see and you think uh, Decay, it usually does well against some um, growth. This match, you just couldn't really do much about. Look at like Blinky's super fast start. Even if, even though I got a Witch Doctor as soon as I could, it really just there's nothing I could have done to stop me from losing this match. Like the sometimes when you face like growth or tempo order, and you just like, the, there's no possible draw you can get that will stop the opponent's draw from just winning the game. So this game was pretty fast and Blinky was able to win really fast. But this video's main focus is definitely the second match. Because the second match was one of the greatest scrolls games I've ever played. It's definitely up there and one of the most fun, the craziest, the closest of all time that I've played. So make sure you watch that. Um, it will be coming up very soon here. And you see like I really can't do much even though I got a witch doctor down. So um, the next match is a Decay versus a Decay match, and it takes a while, lots of close plays, some misplays, but overall it's an amazing match, and you should all watch it. So here I'm about to lose, and I'll give the mic to past me when I was live recording the next match. And it's against Iron Balls. So good luck, have fun to him. And this starting hand, I'm going to keep because I like having a two drop. Although I don't have a three drop, I'll keep it anyways. Get rid of the one of the five drops because I like having a straight curve. And he plays energy range. I don't know if this is a great matchup for this deck. I think it's a okay matchup though. I'm not sure what I want to keep here. I think it's more important to get the curse monger out, so I will continue that. It's nice I got the tribesman turn too. The tribesman has four health. Fortunately, I do not have a 3-drop to play next turn. Hopefully I top deck one. I don't. Um, all the bloodline taint is really awesome. I will get rid of it. I don't know why I played the Trison on the bottom row. Now, now that I think, but why did I do that? There wasn't really much of a point in me doing that. You should really try to get up in the middle. So now here comes... Oh, I didn't even notice. Iron Balls is playing Decay. I thought I, I totally thought he was going to play Energy. I just thought he was sacrificing for Energy. I didn't even notice that. It doesn't really change our game plan that much. I may be playing a similar deck to mine. Halls of Ohm Lhasa uh, will likely get my Bloodline Chains back, so I don't really feel bad for sacrificing them. Definitely have to get these creatures out. Okay, so I have a pretty powerful creature before Iron Balls has put anything down. And next turn I can go with Oblivion Seeker and then the turn after Halls of Ohm Lhasa. So it's looking pretty good. And there is a Blight Bear. I'll get rid of the Trison and go with a um, Earth Oblivion Seeker. Now I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think I will attack 
Deep Light Bear. Yeah. And I'll put the Oblivion Seeker right here. You never know, there might be a soul still. I don't want all my units to get poisoned forever. I really wouldn't want any of them to get poisoned. But probably something's going to have to be destroyed by this. And then there's an Oblivion Seeker. Okay. And don't have a soul steal. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the Halls of Omlasa. It will get me. Uh, I don't really have. I don't really have to. I don't really have to um, destroy this. I could curse it and it would die. So let's get the Halls of Bone Loss out. So now I'll get stuff. Hopefully it doesn't have like a rattle him to get rid of it. That'd be bad. And I could kill this with an attack and this would get poisoned. I could kill that with an attack and it would get poisoned or I can curse it and it would die when it attacks. I think I'm just going to kill it with an attack um, because I'm going to move here so maybe I could attack the Oblivion Seeker next turn. Because first of all, cursing it uh, then you can put a Witch Doctor down, and also I just want to get it with that when the Witch Doctor is not there. So unfortunately, this will die, but it will get at least another Curse slash Attack off. And Curse Presence that kills it, and he does have a Rattle Him, so that's really really bad for me. He had a Rattle Him, and I top deck a Witch Doctor, which I really want to play, but I won't get to. And I can't even use, can't even use that. Um, I'll move away. So that was a really really bad turn for me. He had to rattle him. Maybe I was a little too greedy to play that against the cake because uh, there's rattle hims. He gets his Halls of Omelasa out. Let's see if I can top deck a rattle him. I could go for like the new Ru soon. That wouldn't be um, a bad idea, but I want to see if I can top deck a rattle him. So let's get rid of the Necrogeddon. No rattle him, unfortunately. Let's go for an Infectious Blight and see what happens. So He's immediately getting stuff off of his Halls of Omelasa. So that was bad. Very bad turn of events for me there. <laughs> he gets rid of my Halls. And that gets, that's like a, Rattleheim's very strong so we're like that. And I, I have something to, I could Soul Steal the Ripper now. So I will do that. And then I'm wrapping up as well. I could try to get to get a Rattleheim again. But I think it's wiser to just ramp up. But he's getting so much value out of this. It's very bad. Very, very, very bad. Let's do it. Let's just ramp up so we can play the new rune next, next turn. And since this spawn here, I have to protect it. So I guess I'll move in like this. And I'll stick a curse monger down here. So he's going to slowly get ahead. And so like... Playing Halls of Omasa basically gets you four scrolls. You play one scroll and it turns into four. So it's almost like a it's almost like a fertile soil where you don't even it's actually better than a fertile soil because you don't have to kill your own creature and you get four scrolls. Actually no, you get a net total of three scrolls. So actually well it is better than like a fertile soil. So he gets rid of the blight and draws a bunch of scrolls with that Necrogen. Very good play there. And this is bad. Get rid of the blight and just get down the new room. But against the K, there's gonna be like there's going to be uh more more like damning curses to get rid of that, so that's not good. Hit me getting that Halls of Ohm loss out uh after he rattle him. Look at that. He has nine scrolls. I have none. He is with the same number of resources. The power of Halls of Omasa. And that Rattle Him got him card draw and destroyed my card. But I do have a uh, board to banish, but he can get rid of that very easily. He's probably saving a damage curse for next. Get rid of the Bloodline Taint. And I have a Necrogun, which we won't use this turn. Um, he, has a, he has a ton of cards already. I guess killing this Oblivion Seeker won't be the worst <laughs> thing in the world so I guess I'll do that I want to make sure I could go for idols and try to like Necrogen for a win um, how 
how can I do this? Let's try to kill one of these husks. So we're going to give ourselves a 1 out of 3 chance to kill kill this Anna husk. So let's see. Come on, go here. That will be perfect. Nope, it does not. So I'm wasting a tiny bit of damage, which could be crucial. So he's getting so many scrolls here. And probably a Demon Curse is coming right on this now. This is a sacrifice of resources, he definitely has a Demon Curse. Or he's gonna poison that. Alright, so another another Baleful Witch to get rid of it. Alright, and that's gonna that's gonna die. So that's the power of having a lot of scrolls and resources. I have my own halls, but unfortunately I think I have to have the Necro get in here because I need all these scrolls for myself. So I'm going to I think this is a Necro turn. I think I have to get rid of the halls. So I will necro to get rid of the blight, and I'm getting scrolls. So let's go ahead and necro again. And so I guess spread the damage a little bit. So I am clearing his board, but and I actually got a lot of scrolls from that because I these two oblivion seekers of mine died. But he does have way more scrolls than me and another resource so I have to stay on my toes here now I have a rattle him so if he plays a if he plays another hall so I'll be able to get rid of that and I think I have two damn curses left in this deck which I might need okay let's go ahead and get up higher in resources I'll play a Witch Doctor and a Rot Eater this turn. Um, I'll get rid of... It's really tough to get what to get rid of. I'll get rid of the Life Stealer. I think the other scrolls are very valuable here. So let's do this. I don't like putting all my units here in a row for like the Blight Bearer to, to do mean stuff to. But whatever. And I guess a. Why I'm put, I, whatever. I guess I'll put the ride here in front right now. And. He's still. Come on. Just play another Halls of Moon so I can at least like get some payback. <laughs> I don't even know what I want him to do because. I do have all those husks though on the board. They will be good chump blockers and or damage dealers. And hopefully I get a. Uh, Poison. Right, there's a Halls of Omlasa, so I can get rid of that and get a Halls of Omlasa of my own. So. Soul Steel. Hmm. Definitely Rattle Hemming. Uh, okay, we're definitely going to Rattle him this turn, so I'm just going to play that right away. I know you're supposed to do like sacrifice and stuff before, but I definitely Rattle Hemming. So I'll go like that just to see my resources now. So now I could play the Halls of Omlasa and hope I can get some stuff off of that. Not much just soul steel. So I'm actually going to keep, I, I want to see if I can get like an infectious blight because then I can curse presence infectious blight. So let's see if I can get that. If I don't, I'll probably just play Halls. So come on, give me a uh, infectious blight. No infectious blight. I could play curse presence and Baleful Witch, but this wouldn't even die. I could, like, destroy the Blight Bear, but I don't think it's a huge deal. So let's just play a Halls of my own, and hopefully he doesn't have another Rattle Him. He probably does, though. I was actually really greedy. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Whatever. I'll just run away, and at least if, if uh, stuff dies, that Rod Eater will probably get buffed. So, hopefully he doesn't have another Rattle Him. He probably used the Halls of Omlasa to get a rattle him back. That was a really, I think that was a stupid play by me playing that Halls of Omlasa. It's just giving him like a, a chance to use the rattle him, which puts him ahead in cards. Because look at rattle him does. You draw one lingering spell, so you're destroying something and drawing something. 
And he's gonna play, yeah, and here's the rattle him, but he's at three. Oh no, no rattle him, wow. Yes, that's that's really, really awesome. But I need I need damage curses. Rattle him, soul steal. Um I wish I I wish like a ball line taint came up. Because I might need to do that with like stuff. Rattle him. I don't think we're gonna. S I think it's gonna be okay just to take Soul Steel. I think that's what we want. Okay. Now, at least a Curse Presence uh, with a Baleful Witch would destroy the Harvester, which I'm, um, which is maybe what I'm gonna do this turn. That would take five, and then I could play other stuff as well. What can I just? I really want like a damning curse this turn that would be very good Actually, I don't even know if a damning curse would be that good let's get rid of the tribes in for scrolls okay I did not get any more curse do I curse presence and then baleful witch is it really that important I have a feeling it isn't that important not enough to warrant me doing that I'm gonna go ahead and hit you hit you play another witch doctor down here and a rot eater right oh I, I swear I clicked the rot eater fast enough I, I, I clicked it I clicked it oh my god that's annoying I clicked the rot eater fast enough darn it Little things like that can be really important in the match. Okay, I really want like another cursed presence. So if I can, I think I sacrificed one, so I might need to use the halls of Omos to get rid of that. What's gonna get cursed? Maybe this to just make it die from the poison. Maybe not. And there is another witch doctor. So damage curse on witch doctor won't do much because the halls will come back. And will the attack just destroy this? Lingered on that. And attack just destroys that. Oh, Necro get in. Honestly, I think I should take the Necro get in. I might be able to sneak a win in. And I can't even sacrifice for scrolls to try to get out of stuff. So I have to destroy this harvester, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. And at least he didn't curse one of my things, so I So I will curse presence that. And then I can Baleful Witch and I have and I can Baleful Witch Soul Steel Baleful Witch Soul Steel Darkling. Because I want to get rid of this Meyer Shambler from attacking. Or I can Baleful Witch Oblivion Seeker. Yeah, let's Baleful Witch Oblivion Seeker. Actually no, because I want I'm on Necker again next turn. So let's uh Baleful Witch with Soul Steel and Loyal Darkling. Get rid of the Rot Eater. So now we will go like this. Baleful Witch. Soul Steel. And how do I want to do this? Okay. That wasn't too bad. I've actually almost caught up to him, because my because I've had my uh, halls going on for a couple turns. And next turn with a Necro get in plus, honestly, I may have like missed Lethal last turn. Did I? No, I don't think so. What if I did? I'll have to re I'll have to rewatch this to see if I missed Lethal. Comment below if you see me miss Lethal. I like to know when I do. Next turn I could possibly win because I can go with a Necro get in and a Darkling. Even if I can't win, maybe I can go with a Necrogan and a Black Bear. And it's good to get rid of this Curse Monger with Poison. Hmm. At least if Iron Balls goes with a Damon Curse this turn, um, on like this Witch Doctor, for example, at least his uh, Curse Monger dies. He will get a Husk, but little things like that are are pretty po pretty important.
Meyer Curse. Oh, he plays Meyer Curse. Interesting. Soul Steel on that, so this will serve. No, he's gonna play Infectious Blood on that, so that dies. So at least he he had to use a Soul Steel on something that's gonna die anyways, at least. And maybe I didn't position that perfectly. Let's see. So I only have four units now. I will. I want the Soul Steel. Okay. So let's see, how can I do this? I can... I don't have a Watcher. I, I, there might be a Watcher in the deck, actually. If I Watcher get in... That might be close to winning. I think it's better to get rid of stuff. Let's get rid of the... Let's see, if I Blight Bear and Necro get in, I can... Poison you guys have. I think I can just destroy this rod here with the soul steel anyway, so let's just do that. That costs six, and then I have. Let's get rid of the blight bearer for resources. And now I will play the harvester soul steel here so that I can kill that. And then play an Oblivion Seeker in front. Right there. Oh, what is Meyer Curse? Oh, everything's around the Meyer Curse one. Shoot. Let's move out of the way. Shoot, I, I forgot about the Meyer Curse. I should have at least put maybe switch them around. It might not matter anyways. I might just like... But the Meyer Curse is important because if he has like a curse and stuff, he kills the stuff. I forgot about the Meyer Curse. That was a huge misplay right there. As soon as I thought I might be coming ahead in the match. Languid on that, so that won't be doing any damage. And hopefully it doesn't have like a cursed presence for like the harvester and stuff. Up he That was so bad. Ugh, that dies. Darn it. I totally forgot about that Meyer curse. I think we might have the Necro again next turn. Okay, so what dies? Oh, actually, not every. I don't even lose stuff, so I think I should actually Necro again here. I obviously can't Baleful Witch because then my stuff dies. Um, let's see. Does a Necro again win? A Necro again? I could put down two units in Necro again. One being a Darkling. Darkling on this row. Necrogeddon destroys that idol. And then Darkling here. And then three units there. One. Two. I can probably get in Darkling range. I don't know if that's worth it. Let's get rid of the Baleful Witch for scrolls in case I accidentally play it. It's got a wa no Watcher. This is bad. I think I have to Necrogeddon. Alright, let's Necrogeddon. Um. Let's play the Darkling and Necrogeddon, I guess. So let's kill you. Kill you, at least. I guess I could take out Middle Idol. Oh god, I'm not going to have time to move. Oh well. Really, that, that, that Meyer Curse thing last turn really, really was bad for me. Now, Bloodline Taint with, like, stuff really hurts me. Again, guys, tell me if I missed lethal. <laughs> okay, so that is... An idle down. One could be destroyed with two Darklings. And, yeah. So, hopefully there's no Bloodline Taint with a Baleful Witch coming. I really wish... I think there's a Watcher in the deck. Maybe I took that out. I'll see. Okay. Uh oh, is he gonna destroy this idol? All right, at least another third witch shot's bad. But okay, now let's grab another necro get in. Actually, I don't think I can get get another ne necro get in. Soul steel. 
Not GG yet, mate. Not GG yet. Oh, I actually draw one lingering spell with this. I really wish that there was a. Th I don't think I can even draw a third Necro again. Let's get rid of the Curse Monger. <sighs> Welp. This is not going yet. Not going too well right now. It's not too bad. At least let's get rid of some of his stuff so that I can. Let's go with a Rot Eater. Um, in the back here. Then let's Soul Steal this. And I can. Move around a little bit. And I guess might as well just play a loyal darkling as well. And that will be my turn. I could have rattled him just to draw the lingering spell. I probably should have done that because I might need to play that to get Necrogun back. And He's going to be able to put more humans, you know, humans on the board, so it's hard to break through to those idols. Meyer Curse. That Meyer Curse, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. I don't even think I have any more Bloodline Taints. I really... I sacrificed... I had to sacrifice scrolls early that really hurt me later on. Okay. So... Those two things die, all this other stuff. So. Um, let's get rid of the rattle him. Harvester damning curse is a play. Harvester damning curse destroys five creatures. So I could have harvester go down with haste and then I can take down can I take down an idol a damning curse what would I damning curse? I would damning curse probably um if I damning curse that then that would be that idol would be down to two if I damning curse that then I went with like two more Darklings. And if I damage curse that. Oh no, it wouldn't be down to two. Okay. Let's just do it like this. Okay. There. So, I mean, I don't think that was that good. Unless he doesn't have anything to destroy my Harvester this turn. He only has three scrolls. So he might not have, like, anything to destroy it. And he doesn't have anything to destroy it. Okay. So... This is Infectious Blight. That's okay. I'm going to make it attack this turn. He can win really soon. If I Damning Curse, this dies. If I Damning Curse, this dies. And then I can destroy that idol. Then I win with a Darkling. No, I need, I need to actually... Damning curse and use a curse presence spell for which do I have enough resources for that? But then I lose. Chances are I lose. Actually, curse presence, curse presence. I don't have the damning curse. Let's do that. Let's get rid of both harvesters. Or damning curse here. No, I don't even need to damage curse there. 
Okay, I think we have to do that this turn. I have to get the Harvester to attack. So let's... Curse Presence... Curse Presence... Baleful Witch... And then you sacrifice yourself. And then I take down that idol and then just dick infectious blight on you. Okay. We win with a darkling. Guys, we win with a darkling. Dark and we have to kill it with survive long enough to kill the darkling. And he could possibly win with certain scrolls. It's a good match, this one. I made mist I made a huge mistake for forgetting about that Meyer curse though. Huge mistake. If I lose, I that was definitely a reason I, I lost. And now he wins easily. Soul Steel. I'm going to So I might need for the Darkling, but I'm actually gonna get rid of it because I think I have to get at least get protection on this idol a little bit. Yeah, okay, so I have a damning curse I could use. So I go damning curse. Yeah. So unfortunately this dies. Alright, I'd rather use damage curse next turn. So this blight can go away. Hmm. But this is attacking this turn. This is damage curse. Damage curse. So the blight will carry on. And I will go like this. So if he has a necker gun, he does not win. Doesn't win yet. Okay. It's and I just use damage curse. And I sacrifice a soul steel. So if I draw a Darkling, I really need it to survive two turns. Well, not survive, I mean for him not to win from two turns, I put it down. And with, a, with me only having a three health idol, that is not likely. And is he going to Necker get in here just so he wins with one Darkling? He is going to Necker get in. That destroys... A lot of all right. So he wins with the darkling. So if he has a darkling in hand, he wins. Next turn, this is gonna die. Damning curse. I think I am going to keep now in case I stop like a darkling. No darkling. So and whatever I put down and necro get in, he wins. If I talk like a Necker and then like a low cost scroll, I would win. There's a lot of there's multiple ways I could win last turn. But this is likely GG. He I think he's just gonna win this. And if he has like anything, a Necker wins either way. So wherever I position these guys, a Necker wins. So may as well move like this. Why not, right? And keep the ball 19. I don't know if there's a point to putting ball 19 down. Is that GG? Let's get the GGWP ready. Oh. Oh, not GG yet. That, that Witch Doctor does die, though. So let's get our own. Let's get a Darkling. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is crazy. I have to keep that damage curse now. Let's get rid of the tribesmen. <sighs> every time, every time I sacrifice, it's just like, wow. Now, if I play, actually, a single Necrogun here would not win. Because, actually, yeah, what a singer Necrogun would win. 
so let's hope man if I miss if I miss lethal before I'll be pretty upset I, there's a, I'm very I may have he's deeper into the deck than me so he's probably gonna win this turn he just needs a necker gun or a darkling and some kind of way to kill it but I had I could have gotten really lucky in one. Oh. oh and he doesn't win again so we're both so close to winning wow all right well this is essentially it oh the that that was actually what he did there he was he killed that guy which I drew scrolls I did not draw what I needed let's get rid of this Oh, if I draw a Baleful Witch, do I win? Taint, Baleful Witch. Yes, come on, Baleful Witch. No! Right, if I drew a Baleful Witch, I would have won, right? Because Harvester, Bloodline, Taint, Baleful Witch would make the Harvester attack. Now, how do I defend against this? I actually can defend against this. It's just like normal Necrogen and stuff. I have food. Okay. So I have to, I have to put on my stuff though. So I have to put down something up here. So let's put down the harvester here. And then a harvester here and then a soul steel. So what does that do? Either way, it feels like a damn curse he wins. Well, that's game. I keep saying this game every turn, but def this time it's like definitely game. Like almost definitely, like 90% chance. Yeah, especially that he didn't sacrifice her skulls yet. Or he does, so wow, maybe it's not game. Oh, yeah, he's he didn't have it yet, so let's see if he has it now. Oh man, I'm just like shaking here. If it's not game, holy cow. He just needs a damage curse. Maybe I should have Bloodline Tainted last turn, because at least a damage curse would destroy his own things then. Oh? Curse, he just needs curse. Curse on the harvester down there wins. What? Wow, wow, he still can't win. But my harvesters die. Oh my god. This is absolutely crazy. How have neither of us gotten anything yet? Okay. Let's sacrifice our scrolls. Necrogan doesn't really do it, does it? Whoop. Now he needs a Necrogan to win. Necrogan or a way to kill a Darkling. And he obviously doesn't have a Darkling in hand, I would have played it. <sighs> Let's see. I guess I should play Halls. Well, oh my god, why is nobody winning this game? <laughs> this is crazy. Why is nobody winning this game? Oh, well, all right, there we go. Oh, I was so close to winning, but so is he. If either of us lost, it would have been just like, wow, we both would have gotten upset, but... Oh, man, I just needed Darkling, or Necrogen before, or a with our uh, Bevel Witch before. So close. So what is that? Is that two losses? I lost so much rating. I've lost like 50 rating in this video. Two matches I lost over 20. 
So, yeah, I don't think I've lost two rank matches in one video before. But, there you go. So, thanks for watching. Like the video, enjoy, subscribe for more content like this. And hopefully, next time you see me, I'll be back at number one. So, thank you all for watching.